Okay, this is how I set up an incubator for uh, Mr. Snail clutches. So we actually have two more that were just laid last night. Oh, I can't see one. There it is. There they are. Two more that were laid last night. This is kind of our temporary location. Um, I have a pick up these things. I have a 20 gallon cycling, <laughs> so it's almost ready. Um, so I can't wait to get everything down there and organized and get out of this space. It drives me nuts. Um, anyway, so what we have is, where's my other cup? There it is. Um, three paper towels. So just these little, like the little strips. So three paper towels. The first two I take and I fold them up and I dip them in tank water. So sorry about the video quality, you guys. Oh, I knocked somebody off. Sorry. <laughs> dip it in some tank water. And I get it pretty wet. Like I don't really rinse the whole thing out. Um, it's pretty wet. If I squeezed it, I could probably fill up a quarter to a half of my little container here. So I put that on the bottom, nice and wet. And then I actually cut a piece of uh, filter media into the size of that. It kind of holds a little moisture without getting it wet and it makes a nice little pillow for them. So I do that. And then my last piece of paper towel here, I rip in half. So half of it, I usually have two hands, but I fold it up, fold up the edges so it kind of fits in here nicely. I leave it dry. Then I put my clutch or clutches on top, like so. And then <clears throat> my last half a piece, I put on top. Now, sometimes, I will get this a little bit wet, like just kind of spritz it wet, get it wet. Um, but a lot of times I just leave this dry as well. So I just put this on top because what we're looking for is warmth and humidity. Those are the two things. So the humidity is gonna come from that super wet paper towel on the bottom there, which change it out every day. Um, and see how wet the inside of the lid is? That's just from that. So I poke holes in the lid, put the lid on top, and then you can float it in your tank. Just make sure that it doesn't get stuck under um, the water there because they'll drown. So if you do put it in your regular tank and you have a hang on the back filter, I just take a piece of tape, put it here, and attach it to the side of the tank. But I have this little one gallon, which I set up for something else, but alas here we are i have a heater in it to 80 degrees so the water is nice and warm and i don't have the little filter going because obviously they would drown but it's just to float them it's just to keep them warm and oh, it's nice and warm warm and humid and just to float the babies so that's what i do but the more practical thing is to just hang them on the inside of your tank so that's what i do to incubate and this was what happened when they were incubated. <laughs> so these guys are a week old today. This is Snail Snow from Mystery Snail Pros. You can look them up. I like it because it doesn't uh, go all over the place and make everything gross. So I just cleaned out their little habitat for the day um, and added in some more food. They're doing good. It's so hard to see them. They're little I see as far as colors go uh, the mom's purple the dad is ivory we have two purple females and one male ivory so mom's purple dad's ivory I'm seeing lots of purple like mostly purple um, and then I am seeing a few magenta lots of ivory and a few blues which is kind of fun so there's a good little mix in there. Their little faces are so cute. There's three of them just kind of hanging out there, which of course it's not, you know, it's not gonna, it's not gonna focus on them. <laughs> They're so cute, you guys. They're just stinking adorable. So anyway, 
that's the incubation process and this what this is what happens when you do it that way